Hello and welcome back ladies and gentlemen. The Bee Monsters All Out Tour is back and it's round two here at Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania. I'm your fill-in commentator Prawn Daddy and today we're going to be watching 16 tough competitors ready to throw it down here at Bloomsburg. We're going to be going back a little bit old school. We're going to be going back to straight line racing. It's got a little bit of a twist. So right at the start the driver's going to have to conquer a big pod. Gonna have to try and get up and over that as fast as they can without losing any speed. But once they get off the other side, man, they are gonna be foot to the floor, gassing it down the straightaway. And then we're gonna be seeing them launch off the end ramps here at the end of the race lane. We're gonna be seeing some close finishes, some high flying action. And I bet we're probably gonna see a little bit of carnage on the inside on the outside too, because it's gonna get wild. These drivers have nothing to lose, and it's still early in the championship. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get right into the racing brackets here. We're going to see how these drivers are going to come out and race and get to the finals. First off, on this side of the bracket, we got Monster Mutt taking on Great Digger the Legend. Then we got Barely Tame going against Twisted Addiction. Megalodon going against Storm Damage. And at the very bottom, we got Gunslinger taking on Avenger. And as we're going to be flipping to the other side of the bracket now, we are going to start off with Hurricane Force versus Great Digger. Then we got Max D versus one of the newcomers in Jurassic Attack. Son of a Gigger versus Brutus. Then to wrap off the first round, we got Dragonoid taking on Northern Nightmare. This field of trucks is loaded. We got some newcomers, we got some underdogs, and then we got some veterans. We got a big mix of competitors here today, and all the action is coming up right now. All right, and here comes our very first bracket race. It's going to be Great Digger the Legend, driven by Doc Holiday, And then in Monster Mutt, we got newcomer Terran. So this is shaping up to be a good first round matchup as we see both drivers getting stage at the starting line. You see the start light is new to the Beam Monsters series. So that you're going to see throughout this whole entire season. And it looks like the drivers are ready to go to get this racing underway. Light is green and Monster Mutt shoots out of the hole leaving Doc at the line and Terran and Monster Mutt just flies to the end. And I wasn't joking, we got some high flying action here at the end of the raceway. But we're gonna see drivers going high, but taking that first victory is gonna be Terran and Monster Mutt. See the drivers going back to the pit area. Now we're gonna be getting ready for the next round of racing. After we view the replay. See Monster Mutt just out of the hole, just schools the legend. And that pretty much secures him the victory. All right, next we got two really really cool trucks coming out. We got Barely Teen, driven by Bobcat, and then we got Twisted Addiction, driven by Devin. Got to be a veteran versus a newcomer. And it looks like they're trying to psych each other out. Bobcat keeps pulling up on to the starting line, going a little bit further. And you got Devin on the other side trying to do the same. Might be a little bit of mind games going on between these guys right now. Looks like they're both kind of getting staged. Bobcat's on the line. And then we got Devin on the line. Both drivers are on the red from litter. And we're green. Twist addiction up and over the... Oh, and it looks like Bobcat's actually coming back. What a race! I mean, they were side by side, right at the line. If we can go back and look at the replay here momentarily, here it is. Bobcat just coming off the end of that pod, just finds just enough momentum to just beat out Twisted Addiction driven by Devin. And then now we're going into the third race of round one, which is going to be Megalodon. Driven by Justin. And then we got Mike Bev over here in Storm Damage. Liking that old K10 look. Against one of the fell trucks, Megalodon. It looks like both drivers are staged. Light is red. Getting ready to go green. And they're off. Megalodon, huge jump off the line. Gets over the pod the quickest. And he is just schooling Bev. But he was coming back at the end. I mean, he had momentum Throughout that middle ground, just no man's land, just digging. But just wasn't able to dig enough, and it looks like Megalodon's going to be moving on. 
All right, next we got Garblast, who is in second in the championship right now with 25 points, looking to make it through this first round. And then in the other lane, we got Avenger, driven by Hank. Both drivers look to be staged. No light for this round. It looks like they're going off the go, and they are off. Oh, and Avenger just goes sky high. Gunslinger getting all sorts of crazy. They're getting squirrely. But Gunslinger able to pull out the land, both landing hard. Oh! Oh! Oh, no! Hank, what are you doing? It's not freestyle. <laughs> Oh man, that is a lot of damage. Almost breaking the whole front end out of the truck. Luckily, Guard Blast able to come away unscathed and Gunslinger, but Hank is going to have a lot of repairs to do on Avenger before Freestyle. I mean, look at how high they get at the end of this racing lane, but on that landing, it actually breaks the front steering, both four lane bars out of the truck. I mean, he just goes for a ride. A little bit of body damage, but looks like the dry shaft is still intact. Shocks are okay, but... That is still a lot to repair before freestyle. All right, now we're on to the second half of round one. We got Hurricane Force, driven by Austin. And then in gray there, we got Triton Ray, otherwise known as T-Ray. Both drivers looking to hopefully make it through the first round. I'd say T-Ray had a very bad performance at Las Vegas, whereas Austin right now is in fourth with 21 points so this race could help change up the standings and they are green austin sky high whereas trenton keeps it low and i mean he just schools him on the straight line and austin pulls a power wheelie all the way down the track looking like wildfoot in 93 oh man what a moment that was but austin just doing his best to recreate that with hurricane force that was awesome to see he knew he was lost but he put on a show but it looks like Grey Digger, driven by Trenton, is going to be moving on. All right. Next race should be Freddy and Maximum Destruction. Going a little bit back to the old school look. And more so new school for Jurassic Attack, we got David. Another one of the newcomers. I think he was coming from the rig scene. But making his touch in the Beam and G series here for Beam Monsters on the All Out Tour. So far, he has had a good showing he's right behind freddy he has 16 points whereas freddy has 18 this could help sh change up the standings here too as the light is red getting ready to go green almost there looks like they're holding him a little bit longer and there we go it's green both off the line freddy going sky high david keeping it low and just powers to the end looks like about a two truck victory and Freddy having a hard landing at the end. Looks like he broke the steering on the left front, but that should be an easy fix for him before freestyle. And coming out on the track now, we do have our points leader, Brandon Scalf, otherwise known as Sonar. Here in Son of a Digger, he has 32 points. And then on the other side, we got Jedi Presence, who unfortunately had a very lackluster first round. Only coming out with 12 points there. I said CRC is one of the heavier trucks on the series, but for straight line racing, hopefully it may have an advantage. I know Hank couldn't get it done. Let's see if Jedi can get it done. As we're getting ready for the drivers to go green. Both staged. Both of them leaving even off the line. Looks like Jedi got stuck there for a quick second. Nose went really too high. And Sonar just powers to the victory, and they both go nose heavy and another wild ride for a CRC. I mean, he, what is going on? He saw Hank do it. He said, hey, I can do it a little bit better. I mean, what a close race that was, though. Only a truck length going to him. Both of them full power to the end. I mean, Sonar getting all sorts of crazy. He was able to just bring it back down. But Sonar being able to just come away with a victory. But you got Jedi on the other side. I mean, just taking a massive tumble on Brutus. Luckily, no mechanical damage. Just body. So he should be able to make it back. No issues. All right, and for the next round of racing, I think this should be our last matchup of round one. We have Northern Nightmare driven by a Brute who is currently in fifth, actually tied with Justin Bobcat for fifth with 20 points. And then we got Hawk and Bakugan, who unfortunately just had a really, just wants to forget round one, start fresh here in round two. And we are going green off the line. Hawk keeps it low, Northern Nightmare goes high, and Hawk's gonna make it through the first round. <laughs> Makes it through the first round. Already doing better than his... <laughs> already doing better than the first round of the All Out Tour. He's got to be happy about that. 
We're gonna look at some highlights through round one of racing. Going back to the Avenger crash. And just what a tumble he takes. And looking at round two, we got Monster Mount taking on Barely Tame. Megalodon going against Gunslinger. Say one matchup that will be very close it should be Megalodon and Gunslinger. Both those drivers had really good passes. Both powered up in the middle ground. That should be a very close finish. And then we're going to look at the other side of round two. As we take a look at the other CRC taking a tumble in the background, we got Jedi. That had to have been a wild ride. And then for the top half of the other side of the bracket, we got Grave Digger and Jurassic Attack. Both those guys also had really good passes, so that should be another very close race. Same thing with Son of a Digger and Dragonoid. So this second round is stacking up to be close finish after close finish. So each one of those drivers are really, really good. And we are not taking any time as we move into the first race of round two, which is going to be Monster Mud driven by Terran, and we got Barely Tame driven by Bobcat. Both these drivers able to make it through the first round. Wonder if Bobcat's going to kind of psych them out. Kind of doing that old Pinda trick, doing some dry hops at the start. So he's actually backing up a little bit further. Looks like he's going to have Terran stage first, and then it's going to be him. He takes one more lineup, just trying to pick his point at the end of the track so he knows he's going straight. Shaping up to be a really close matchup, and both of them on the rev limiter. Just waiting on the light to go green. And they are off. Monster Mutt getting over the pod first, but gets a little bit sideways. Bobcat trying to dig on the middle ground. Couldn't come back. Was just able to make it a truck length. But Terran off the start was just able to get off the start line a little bit quicker, down the pot a little bit faster. And overall, that gave him the victory right there. That is a tricky start line. If you get it right, you are way ahead of the competition. But if you get it wrong, it's almost a secure loss unless the other driver really messes up on the further end. As we move into the second race of round two, we got Gunslinger, who is driven by Garblast. And then we got Megalodon, driven by Justin. He's going to get a little bit of points over on top of a brute. We got knocked out first round. Both drivers are on. Ooh, looks like they're having to restage Megalodon a little bit, back them up a little bit. So they're bringing Gunslinger up slightly. Got to make sure both drivers are even on the line. Looks like they're revving up now. Just waiting on the light. And there they go. Off the line. Both are almost even, almost identical. They're racing to the line. Who's it going to be? What a race! And Garblast takes a nosedive at the end. I could not tell who that was at the end of that race. That was side by side the whole entire race. I mean, they were almost identical from start to finish. Off the line, over the pod, and all the way across the line. I need a replay on that. Just look at this. Both of them get the same amount of air. They're both planted. Justin got a little bit more of a hop at the end. Garblast is kind of more so wheeling down the ramp. And I think that may have been what got him. It did! Garblast, by only a tire tread, was able to get the victory over Justin. What a race. Um, oh, man. That's crazy. I mean, they were side by side. What a race. But... Can't go back on that now as we got the two next competitors coming up. We got Dave and Jurassic Attack taking on Trenton Ray and Grave Digger. Both these guys making it through the first round with really clean passes. Say David and Jurassic Attack kind of holding it up there, just making sure he's got his point straight on with the ramp. D Ray doing the same. Looks like he was a little bit sideways. Both drivers trying to get staged. Looks like they're bringing them up to the line right now. So both are staged, both are on the rev limiter, waiting on the light to go green. Ooh, T-Ray moved a little bit there at the start. I don't know what they're going to call on that, but it's not going to matter. David just gets over top of that start line perfectly, and by a truck length, is still able to beat him out. I mean, this, he may be new, but he is looking like a veteran right now. He is just lining up and making clean passes every round so far and that's going to get them into the semis all righty and now we got two last competitors for round two we got hawk taking on sonar 
both these guys have two different round one remembers as Stonar was able to come out with the points lead and Hawk unfortunately right now down in 16th. Looks like he's trying to mix that up right now as they're both stage ready to go green. Both of them getting over top of the start line pretty evenly. They're going to the finish line. It looks like it's going to be another close race and it's almost dead heat again at the end. Sonar getting crazy at the end once again. Just a bad landing. And Hawk at the end also getting crazy. And <laughs> he's up and over. And I said I have to go back to replay on this. I mean, both of them are digging through Dead Man's Land right now. And it looks like it is going to be Hawk by a tire tread right at the end. Even with the hard nose dive at the end, still worth it. As we move into our semifinal round, we got Terran. Taking on Garblast for the first semifinal and moving on to the other side of the bracket. We got David taking on Hawk. Hawk is having an amazing round two right now. Hoping that he can make it to the finals, but David has been deadly off the start line. He has been getting over that little pod. Just making it almost look too easy. As we are moving into our first semifinal. Which is going to be Terran taking on Garblast. I'm not really sure if lane choice is going to be more of a thing, but so far Terran has been just blistering in that right lane. And same thing with Guard Blast on the left, so both drivers get in the lanes that they want. Looks like they're both lining up, making sure that they're straight on, trying to get the best that they can out of the truck right now. Terran lining up at the line first, Guard Blast coming in second. Looks like both drivers are giving a sign that they're good to go. Just waiting on the light to go green, and there it goes. First race of the semifinals, Terran going huge off the pot, and that's going to cost him. Garblast able to just power through and make it just look easy, making a nice, clean pass. See, Terran may have had the little bit of adrenaline and just kind of cost him at the end, but Garblast is going to be moving on to the final round as we move on to our next semifinal matchup. As we watch Guard drive back into the pits. Our next semifinal is going to be Hawk taking on David. This is shaping up to be a really, really close race. Both drivers have been able to get over the start line almost perfectly every single pass. Both drivers have been very, very fast. Hawk already had one really close race. So let's see if he's going to be able to edge out David here in the semifinals as they're both staged, ready to go green. There they are off the line. Looks like a little bit of an advantage to David as he got the head start. But Hawk coming back in the middle ground. It's going to be side by side to the end. Another dead heat. And they both almost look identical on landing. Both nosing over. I mean, the starts were a little bit off, but he made up that mid ground. They don't even know who won. They're both stopped at the end as we're going back to replay right now. I mean, both off the end ramp. I mean, that's still too close for me to call. If I had to make the guess, it looked like it was Jurassic Attack making the move on, and it was. David just edging out Hawk and Dragonoid. So for our final round, it's going to be David and Jurassic Attack taking on Guard Blast and Gunslinger. I mean, this is shaping up to be an amazing final right now. Both of these drivers have been almost perfect throughout this whole entire night. Whole entire day, I should say. My bad. But... I mean, both of these guys have just been on the light, off the start, over the pot, and just powering through to the end. Just almost, almost robotic as they're almost just getting off the line. I mean, right as that light goes green, they're almost side by side every time. But this is the final round right here. It's going to be Jurassic Attack taking on Gunslinger as they're both getting staged, making some slight adjustments. Looks like they're ready to go. Light is getting ready to go green. This is your final for round two at Bloomsburg. It all comes down to this. Light is green. They're both even off the line. Garblast gets down on the pot a little bit quicker. David actually able to get off the edge a little bit faster. And he gets the win. Your wasting winner is going to be Jurassic Attack driven by David by a truck length over Garblast and Gunslinger. Nothing to be ashamed of from Guard. I mean, David just has had this track down tonight. He was just locked in and loaded. Just had the light on par. Got over the pod just easily every single time just nailing everything that he needed to do doing everything right and he was able to come away with the victory here for round two at Bloomsburg he's gonna park it right there up on the pod at the start 
I mean, what a crazy, crazy racing bracket. We saw some losses that were upsets. We saw some crazy wrecks at the end. Hope and Hawk, or Hank, and Avenger can actually make it back for uh, freestyle. That's a lot of damage on the front end of that truck. I don't know what their ruling is going to be. And probably one of the closest races of the night. And another upset right here is Hawk just edging out Sonar and Son of a Digger. He's got to be happy about that. That's some bragging rights right there, being able to beat him. And then going to our final round, Guard got a little bit sideways in No Man's Land. Tried to correct it, almost brought it back at the end. But David was just on it tonight. It was his race to lose. And he just decided to pull it out at the end and get the victory here. And we're going to be moving on to Freestyle now. And starting off the night is going to be Hawk and Dragonoid. It's going to come out, start off with a nice little slap wheelie, carries it across the track, combos it up with the end of the racing lane. A little finish line ramp as he's going to gun it all the way down to the other side of the track. Goes for the little dirt mound that's over here at the very far end of the track. Actually rolled him over in racing when he celebrated against Son of a Digger. But getting some good air off of it right now, keeping up some good pace. Really just trying to get from one side to the other. This is a very big track. So managing time, being able to do combos is going to be very critical as he does right there. Gets a slap really into comboing it up with the pod at the start of the racing lane. Brings it back for some massive air. Just keeping the flow going. Just non-stop on the gas, on the brakes, slinging the truck around. So far has had some really good hits in. Goes for the four-way pod there on the other side of the track. Getting some huge air and he's on two wheels. He's going to save it. Sidewalls. But brings it back down, is able to keep the truck under control, nothing broke. About halfway through the run, looks like he's going to line up for a cross thread. He's gunning it. Huge air right there, just massive air. Carries it across into a slap wheelie. Great combinations right now. He is keeping the flow up. Just no waste of time, no wasted effort. Just going from one move to the next, just not really thinking about it. Again, just massive air on two wheels. Again, he's on his other side wall. Almost goes over onto the other side. But is able to just bring it right back down and keeps up the flow. Doesn't stop. 30 seconds left on the clock. He's on line up for the backflip ramp. Stuffs it in a little bit. Goes for a little bit of an under rotate. Hits the nose on the back tires. Walking the plank. Loses the whole front hood of the back of God truck. But he's not going to matter. It's about 15 seconds left. He is just putting on a run right now. I say keep it going, Hawk. Right now, it's just Sky in the truck out. 10 seconds left, and he almost gets in trouble. Goes into a little bit of a nosedive. Brings the truck back into the mud ditch a little bit. Trying to get the truck turned. Time is over. He's going to throw it into some cyclones at the end. What a run done by Hawk. Almost a picture-perfect run. Hit almost everything out on the track in any way that you could. Great run from Hawk. Just waiting on seeing the score. As we're going to look at some highlights, right here at the end of the track, just launches it off the dirt pod. Good air. Got some really good distance on it. I feel like that's going to be a little bit tricky hitting it from the other side as that's more of a straight up and down angle. That could get some drivers in trouble. Goes for the pod. Once again, just gets massive air. Lands a little bit hard on the side and goes into an amazing sidewall. And for the first run, he's going to start us off with a 7.82. Great run from Hawk. I say I bet Hawk's really happy with that round two performance. Helps him forget round one. I say what a what a night for him. Gotta be happy with that. As we're gonna move on to our next freestyle, we got Terran and Monster Mutt who is just screaming down the track. Just on the gas from one side to the other. It's one way to make an impression. Kinda gets the fans' attention, lets him know he's here as he is just on the gas, winding up for the big jump on here on the other side, just gonna sky it. Massive air. Look at the distance on that. Keeps the truck going. What a way to start up the run. That definitely captures the attentions of everybody. Looks like he's going to combo. Come on around. Goes for the pod at the start of the racing lane. Gets it into a nice slap lead. Dragging the tail right across the grass. Looks like he's going to go for the little jammer over here. Oh, no. He's in, in trouble. And he saves it. What a save from tearing a monster mutt. And then just comes right back at it. No wasted motion. Just keeping up the speed. But what a save, keeping the truck under control, not getting out of control, able to keep composed, and just screaming right back down the track, going off the back of the racing lane pod. So he's gonna go for the left lane. Huge air. And this expects some drivers to go even higher off of that throughout their runs. Looks like he's going off the end of the racing lane. Maybe getting a slap wheelie out of it. 
Look at that, once again, just dragging the tail right across the, <laughs> the grass, and he's getting all sorts of crazy, almost on one leg, on another leg. That's a dog going crazy right there, going over to the tough truck course, going off the little dirt berm that they got. He looks like he's going to combo it up with the dirt jammer that's over here on this side, near the stage. Getting kind of crazy right there, I don't know what he was trying to do. The truck was getting a little out of control. Goes for the jump, gets it into another slap wheelie. Keeping the flow up right now. Trying to keep pace with Hawk right now because Hawk just laid down an amazing run. But Taren is throwing it all at it right now. I mean, he is just going for some massive air. Now goes through the pod. Once again, getting huge air. More so elevation than he is going for distance right now. But he is keeping up some good flow. Just hitting everything out on the track. And he's going once again with <laughs> massive air. That was some serious elevation, Holmes. I mean, he just skies it off of that jump again. Looks like he's going to drive back around. He's going to go for the back, but he's got five seconds left. He's got to get there quick. Four, three, two, and he's going to get it in. He's going to under-rotate. He's going for a consecutive. Is he going to get it? He got it. What a move. I thought he under-rotated it. I didn't know. I just made the assumption, but what a move. He gets the consecutive backflip. Looks like that doghouse. The nose got a little bit smushed. Out here looking like a pug. But what a run from Terran and Monster Mutt. He's got to be happy with that. As he drives back into the pits, we're going to take a look at some highlights. Going back to the start of the run. Just look at that. Just took a wind up and a swing and just launches the truck. Just absolutely massive air. And then right here, this is where I thought he's going to get in trouble. It looked okay at first, but then gets right on the sidewalls. Keeps some composure. Great save. And it looks like he's going to beat out Hawk with an 8.20. Takes the lead. What I had to say was an amazing run, but we're only two trucks in. We still got 14 left. As I can say, each one of these drivers are going to go bigger, better, and badder every single time they come out. And the competition is going to get elevated from here on out. As we got our racing winner, David, coming out, Jurassic Attack. So he's going to line up for one of the racing lanes. Maybe going for some air? No, he goes for a sky wheelie. Did not expect that. Carries it across the pod. He's going to walk it. He looks like he's going to go all the way across the track. He's going to come back up at the end of the racing lane. And he gets in and goes back into another wheelie. I mean, he was just getting crazy right there. It looked like he started shifting on the rear wheels. But, I mean, what a move to start off the freestyle run. And we're only the third truck in a massive air off the big dirt hill at the end of the track. I mean, he is going crazy. Only after two hits right now. I mean, he is just launching and marching across this field like a soldier right now. And just launching it off those pods. Looks like he's going to line up on the far end. Going for the dirt jammer. Kind of stuffs the nose into it. But looks like he's going to get a nice slap wheelie out of it. Let's it come back down. Going for the pod. Ooh! Stuffs the nose into that pod. That looked like it may have hurt. But no no mechanical damage on the truck. So keep it going. Looks like he's going to turn around. Looks like he might be going for the big hill. He does, and he gets some serious air. Looks like he may have even gone further than Terran and Monster Mutt. He looks like he's going to do a cross thread like Hawk. Going to come up a little bit short. He's going to... Oh, and he lost the wheel. Oh, no. Looks like they're going to let him keep going, but he's going to be very limited on what he's going to be able to do now with that broken truck. Oh, that's got to hurt. But, I mean, right now he's already got one win on the season. He's just going for two right now. He's going to sling it at some crazy cyclones. I mean, look at him go. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Just going for 20 revolutions. I mean, that's a spin cycle if I've ever seen one. I mean, he just whipped it into Cyclones. Kept the truck going and getting some air off the end of the racing lane. Stuffs the nose in. Bringing the truck around. Not sure what he's going to be going for next. Looks like he might be lining up for the pod. Oh, and he just whips it back around. And no way. He's lining up for the backflip ramp. He's going to try and do it with three wheels. And he does! He does a corkscrew! <laughs> and he still lands! He's still going! And he's not even broke! The hub is still there on the rear, and he's trying to save it right now, and he's over! It looks like they told him to shut the truck off. But what a run from David and Jurassic Attack. I mean, this run was full of highlights, especially off the start. I thought he was just gonna sky it. The sky wheelie caught me off by surprise, and then he just wheelies it down all the way through the whole entire racing pass, combos it with the end into another slap wheelie i mean that is creative technical and daring all in the same way because if you get out of shape that truck is over 
but he was able to kind of keep it all together keep the momentum up and here at the end after losing the wheel still lines up for the backflip doesn't get a backflip but does a corkscrew whatever you want to call that but what a move and for the score he's gonna get a 7.52 i mean it may have been a little bit off from realism but still a great run to watch nonetheless as we're moving on to our fourth competitor which is going to be trenton ray and gray digger coming out early looks like he's just going to go all the way down the track just like monster mutt did he's going to rip it around He's going to go for the big dirt hill here at the end. So he's just going to sky it. Going for some huge air. And it looks like he's going to combo it up with a little bit of a wheelie. Keeps the nose down. He's going to hit the back of the racing lane. Keeping the combos up. Doesn't do a wheelie. Looks like he's going to go for the pod at the end of the racing lane. Just doing a nice straight pass. Keeping the flow going. Not really trying to throw too many moves in there. It's kind of more so trying to get from one spot to the other. As he's just gunning it all the way around the outside. Looks like he's going to try and line up for the pod. Almost carries too much speed and goes past it, but what air. Was able to kind of recover and get the truck settled and gripped up as he goes into a wheelie, into a moonwalk. Might about to stop you into him or a moonwalk. Well, whatever. That was a really just a cool move in general. Just kind of keeping the presence of mind to get on the brakes, ride the nose out. Front doghouse looks like it's broke. Door is gone. Comboed it up with the jammer. Hits the dirt hill. I mean, just keeping the flow of the truck going right now. Going from move to move. Looks like he's going for the big dirt hill. And massive air. Going further than any other truck has gone so far. Like I said, each driver is going to come out and try and go bigger and bigger each time out. And he is doing it right now. Still has 50 seconds left on the clock. Looks like he's going for big air. Oh, and the steering's broke. The right front steering housing is broke. He has no steering in the right front. So he's just going to stuff it into the jammer. Carry a wheelie. But that's going to make turning that truck a little bit more difficult. But it looks like he's not going to let that stop him. He's going to throw it into some donuts. Looks like he may have tried to go for that dirt hill. But the donuts are going to be what he's going to do for now. Almost getting up on two wheels right there. Almost into two wheels. Almost rolling the truck over. But just keeps it down. Keeps the momentum going. And he gets in trouble. Is he going to save it? He does. Rotates it over on the nose. But it looks like they're going to shut the truck off. Not sure if they're going to let him refire. He's got 10 seconds left. I see they didn't stop the clock, but it looks like he's trying to get the truck going and turn the direction that he wants. Four, three, two, one, and that is time. It looks like he's just going to kind of drive it back to the pits. Good run. Unfortunately, at the end, getting shut off just kind of killed the ending of the run. But overall, all the other hits were fantastic. Kept up a great run nonetheless. As we're going to go back and take a look at some of these highlights real quick. I mean, just starting off the run, just gunning it at this hill, getting massive error. And that's what you risk hitting these jumps a little bit too hard is you can break the front steering kind of easily on these trucks if you hit them in the wrong direction. But a great way to start off the run. And speaking of that, right here, let's say you turn left and just rip the right front out of it. But overall, a great run gives him a score of a 7.68. I think that puts him in third place right now. As we move on to our next competitor, we got Northern Nightmare. He's going to line up for that jump and skies it. <laughs> Huge air. Getting into the stratosphere. I mean, just no hesitation. Just went for it. And he goes for the backside of that dirt hill. Hits it so hard he actually lost the hood ornament. As you can see it landing and bouncing right there onto the track. You can see he hit that ramp hard. And he's going to line up full speed. Going for the hill. I mean, once again, just massive air. I mean, these drivers are just going for broke right now. Goes for the side of the pod, getting all sorts of crazy, almost getting himself in trouble. Keeps it under control, doesn't hesitate, whips it back around, now going for this little hill. Getting some great air, so far has kept a great speed. Going right here by the stage, looks like he's going to go for the dirt jammer. Gets up and over it, might be going into a slap -ily. Nice slap -ily. brings it down. Looks like he's turning the truck around, he's a little bit out of view right now, actually. <laughs> he went through the tough truck course. Thought he was going to rip it around, disappeared out of the camera for a second. But now he's racing right back down the truck, screaming. Goes for the back side of the racing lane. Gets some good air. Gets it into a slap wheelie. Going to carry it across the track. Losing a combo up with the pod. Keeps the rear wheels on. Almost getting himself into trouble. But was able to bring it down. Looks like he's going to line up for the jammer on the far side of the horse. Going for some good air. Gets a little bit of the sky wheelie. Brings the nose down. Keeping up the flow. 
keeping up momentum. Goes over the pod. Not the biggest here that we've seen, but looks like he's just kind of keeping the truck composed. He may be saving the truck for a final hit as he kind of just does a big old drift donut. Looks like he's lining up for the backflip. And he's going to do a corkscrew! What a move! What a move! That was crazy. I thought he was just going to go for a backflip, but goes for a corkscrew, lands it, doesn't break anything. Keep it going. He's got 10 seconds left. I mean, he, he was putting on a run right now. Few moves may have been less dramatic than others, but it looks like he's going for that racing lane. Goes for it. Skies it in the air. What a sky wheelie. Keeping up the momentum. He's going to end out the run right there, drifting it, saying, yeah, I just did that. I mean, I don't know where to start. I'm just still more blown away by that course through. I hope we get another highlight of that as he drives back into the pits. But I mean, throughout this run, he had some really great hits, especially the start just lets everybody knows he's here. I mean, look at how high the truck gets. I mean, the distance doesn't really mean anything on that. That ramp just sent him sky high. And then right here, I thought he was going for the backflip, but I mean, the presence of mind to think in that moment to go for that corkscrew doesn't break the steering, doesn't break anything on the truck, lands perfectly. And just keeps it going and gets himself an 8.5. I think that may put him in first or second right now. But nonetheless, what a run from a roof to Northern Nightmare. Just showing these guys how it's done. As we move on to our next freestyler, which is going to be Megalodon, driven by Justin. Coming out, sliding out of the pits. Looks like he's going to go for his first move. Going for a bicycle. Oh, almost, get on, almost went too far over. I thought he was going to get himself in trouble, but rides it out. What a cool way to start off the run. I mean, and then just skies it off the pod. I didn't expect that. I thought he was going to just drive through, but starts off with a bicycle and doing cross threads right now off the racing lane pods. I mean, just what a way to start off the run. And he's already only three hits in. Goes for the little dirt mound. Getting super long air. Into his slap wheelie. Carries it all the way across. Dragging the fin. Dragging the tail all the way across the track. Hits in, hits other dirt ramp at the end of the track, keeping up the flow. Only 40 seconds in right now. And so far he has done two moves that nobody else has done. Comes off that ramp a little bit sideways, trying something a little bit different than what the other drivers have done here tonight. Goes for, ooh, almost getting in trouble. All sorts of sideways. Thought he was going to go over on the right side and possibly roll over or break something, but keeps the truck imposed. Brings it back down as he gets even more crazy. I mean, right now, he is just sending it on all these ramps, getting all sorts of crazy, bringing in the truck back. That's a little short donut right there. But, I mean, he is just he is just going everywhere on this track, hitting everything all sorts of sideways. Goes through the mud pit, going through the water, getting all sorts of crazy, almost over. And he's on two wheels coming out of the pit. Nobody else has done that yet. And, I mean, I don't know what to say on that, but what a backflip to start on that. Goes into reverse. Floors it, power wheelie, brings the front of the truck up. I mean, he is just foot to the floor. Gas or brakes, he is in between. There is no throttle rhythm other than on or off. And he's keeping it on the rear wheels. Gets all sorts of crazy. Breaks the right front and he's up and over. Has eight seconds left. Got shut off by the officials. But what a run from Justin and Megalodon. Starts off once again at the start of this run with the two wheel skill move. Thought he was going to go too far over. And get himself in trouble was able to bring the truck back down and then lines up for the backflip almost perfectly executed lands a little bit hard on the right side then break a tire just a great run from justin and it scores him a 7.74 nothing to be ashamed of there as we move on to our next competitor coming out on the track waiting on him to come through Looks like it's going to be Mike Bev in Storm Damage. Personally, one of my favorite trucks to drive. One of my favorite trucks to look at. And he's going to hopefully do this name proud as he's going to line up to the same ramp that a brute hit. Looks like he's going to start off a little bit more technical. Going for a nose wheelie. Bouncing on the nose. Looks like he's going to bring the truck down. Combo it up at the end. Try to get it into a wheel stand. And he does. A little bit of a power wheelie brings the truck back up. And then skies it off the ramp. Looks like he's going to go for the end of the racing lane, but what a cool way to start off the run. Oh, he's getting sideways. Oh, what a hard landing. What a save. 
brings the truck back down, loses the front nose of the truck, but thought he was gonna get in trouble right there. Thought he may have even broke something. But the truck seems to be in one piece. That was a sketchy moment for sure. But what a few great hits to start off the run. Slaps it on the pod into a slap wheelie. Let's see, they're carried on one wheel, on the other wheel. Getting all sorts of crazy. Bring it back down. Oh no, it looks like he's gonna be over. But brings the truck back. I thought he got shut off there for a second. I actually lost a support bar out of the back of the truck. So far, getting crazy moves. Two of them so far. It looks like it was almost down to gravity at work there. It's a little bit more sideways on that. Dirt ramp at the end of the track. Goes for the back side of the racing lane. Nice little side wheelie. So far, keeping up some really good flow. Looks like he's going to loop it around here. On the gas. Drifting it. Lines up for the little dirt hill. Oh, he's going sideways. Oh, it breaks the rear steering out of the truck. And he is up and over. 30 seconds left on the clock. I don't know if that's going to be a lot of time left. But he had a few different moves to start off with. Definitely at the start of the run. Bounces on the front tires into a stoppy. Goes for a moonwalk right here. Looks like he kind of went a little bit too far back. Or the rear tires actually clipped the other side of the dirt hill right there. And this brought the nose back down. See right here on this highlight. One on the left rear. On the right. Tries to gas it up and bring it back and settle it down. But right here. Just a truck hooked an edge. Threw the truck over. Was able to save it. With 30 seconds left on the clock. That's going to result in a score for a 6.04. <laughs> See if he filled time it may have been a little bit higher than that. But just unfortunate bad luck for Mike and starting damage. Hopefully next round he'll be able to turn that around and continue on. As we now move on to Bobcat and Barely Tame. So he's going to start off a little bit different going for the jammer on the far side. Nice air into a slap wheelie. Good way to start off your run. Oh and he almost gets himself in trouble right there. Almost, <laughs> almost teeter tottering on the rear and he does it again. Wheelies over top of the pod. Nice combination to start off the run. So he's going to go for the dirt ramp over here on the far side of the track. Gets a nice little sky wheelie into another slap wheelie. Might even call that a power wheelie and just rips it all the way down the track. Coming really close to the stage. Really close to the camera guy. So he's going to cross thread the dirt mound here. Go a little bit of a different direction than what the other drivers have gone tonight. Into another slap wheelie. Just throwing it around on those rear tires. Left to right to left. Combos it up with the pod once again. Keeping up some good momentum right now. And it looks like he's going to go for the back side of the racing lane. That's really kind of honed in on those slap wheelies, sky wheelies. Looks like he gets into another slap wheelie there. He's going to carry it all the way across the track and wheelies it off the pod. That was really sketchy, but was really cool to watch. I mean, you kind of went for broke right there because he could have had the front end dip over. Was able to be more composed as he goes off the jammer now into another slap wheelie. Getting really close to the dirt. Ooh, and he comes up with the pod. Almost went into that mud bog. Turned the rear steer there. We saw it. And now he goes for the backflip ramp. And <laughs> I don't even know what to call that. And gets it into a power wheelie. I don't know if that would be qualified as a corkscrew or not. But, I mean, that was cool regardless. We saw David do it in Jurassic Attack with three wheels. Bakke was like, I'll just come out and do it with four. This gets it into a giant walk the plank almost and does some cool cyclones at this end of the track. Still going for a cross thread right now. So he's going to come up a little bit short but combo it up maybe with the other side of the ramp. Wheels it up the side. I mean he is just comboing those out as he has three seconds left. Two, one. And it looks like he's going to wrap it up right here. Or he's going to go for a stoppy. And he gets it. Up the pod. He's over. Looks like the truck is shut off. Oh, and he almost had a comeback onto all fours. But what a run from Bobcat and Barely Tame. So we're going to go back to the start of the run. Got some good air off the jammer. Goes into a slap wheelie right here. So he kind of carries it out all the way across. Rear steer got a little bit kicked sideways. Was able to settle it down combo with the pod. And that run's going to earn him a 7.51. A great run from Bobcat. Some really great moves throughout that run. Looking forward to what he's going to throw out next round. But 
before we get there we still gotta finish up the freestyle competition here in Bloomsburg and we're waiting on our next competitor to come roaring out of the pits looks like it's gonna be Jedi in Brutus looks like they're able to get the body panels back on that truck I say it was just cosmetic damage from racing looks like he's ready to throw down out here for freestyle as he wraps it around goes for the jammer looks like he's gonna start off with a nice slap wheelie carrying it all the way across the track through the two pods at the start of the racing lane that was risky but pays off that was what a move to start off the race and goes for some huge air this is the biggest we've seen off of that obstacle yet now CRC is a little bit heavier than the CR CRD trucks that we see the other competitors driving this one also has three gears or a three-speed transmission so the truck is a little bit more to handle but can throw down for freestyle this is a great freestyle truck and he is showing why as he's just sending it off these ramps and it soaks up the landings almost effortlessly truck just settles out and just goes and goes for a nice cross thread one of the bigger cross threads we've seen on the night almost there with hawk in bakugan now he's gonna line up and just sky it off this ramp <laughs> massive air the biggest air we've seen off of that so far and it looks like he's just gonna swing it into some donuts just going across the track almost into cyclones almost gets the truck turned around goes for the dirt ramp some huge air so far the momentum in his run has been perpetual I mean just going from one move to another and just on the gas look at the air look at the distance that is the biggest air we have seen so far off of that ramp all night I mean I don't know if anyone else is gonna come close to that but he just foot to the floor hoped for the best and just sky the truck goes for the backflip now oh he's gonna under rotate but Britain's the truck out front and was able to pull the truck out settles it down he's got 10 seconds left on the clock let's see what he's gonna do here to wrap up the run and he's just gonna send it over <laughs> he's going for barrel roll what a crash at the end he just sent it into a rollover <laughs> it's gonna end up on the sidewalls puts the truck back over on the lid what a run from Jedi racing didn't go his way but came out here and put on one heck of a freestyle I mean just look at the air that he got I just haven't seen that at all so far tonight I mean that was just absolutely massive same thing with this I mean, if I even might say it, that's some serious elevation Holmes I mean just absolutely skies the truck out and that's gonna end him his run with a 7.58 for Jedi and Brutus and it looks like we're gonna move on to the next CRC truck driven by Hank here in Avenger looks like they were able to get the truck repaired got new four links underneath the truck and he is ready to go body panels back on the truck as well and it looks like he's gonna do what Jedi did wraps it around on the gas going for air absolutely skies the truck I mean that's about the same as Jedi and Brutus right off the bat just to start off the run even after racing knowing that the truck broke just goes for it and nice little cross thread combos it up with a wheelie off the pod goes off the ramp at the end of the racing lane Hank is out here for domination and freestyle turns the truck around going for the little dirt pod at the end of the track gets into a quick little slap wheelie now he's going to combo it up with the back side of the racing lane. Gets it into another slap wheelie. Going to sky it off the pod. So he's going to whip it around. Possibly go for the jammer. Looks so like he's actually going to go for some massive air off the jammer. Absolutely huge air. Actually clears the mud pit. And now he's going to go for a cross thread. Almost corkscrews the truck over. He's going to bring it back. He does! He blows out the rear steering in the process, though, so the truck is damaged, but he doesn't care. He's on two wheels right now. He's going to bring it back down. He does. What a save. Two great saves off of that move. Goes for the dirt roller right there. Keeps the truck going. Just slinging it around the track. Going for some massive air off of that. Just keeping up the momentum on the run. 
Goes into some donuts now. Rear steer may be blown out, but that's not going to stop him from going into some cyclones. It looks like he's just comboing the truck up with another hit off the end of the racing lane. Might be going for a backflip now. And he's going to get it. Throws it in reverse. Swings the truck around. Looks like he's going to go for the pod now. Has about 15 seconds left. Looks like he might go into the mud pit. Keeps the truck out of it. Goes for the jammer now. Stuffing the nose into it. Almost out of time now. He might try and wrap it back around. Looks like he's on the gas right now, trying to do something. He's going to go into some donuts, ends up in the mud pit. Just going through it, trying to get out of it right now. And he does. What a way to end up the run. Truck gets repaired after that racing crash. And he came out here and threw down for freestyle. And he threw down for Jedi, going bigger than he did. I mean, just huge air. I don't know if anyone else is going to be able to beat that on this night. And then you got him wrapping up with some donuts. And I think that actually takes the lead with an 8.60. We're going to find out at the end of the night if that does or not. But what a run to beat. Hank just throwing down an Avenger. Great run. And as we welcome Great Digger Legend out onto the track. Driven by Doc Holliday. He's got to follow that run up. He's going to start off with some good air. Off the little dirt roller. Going off the end of the racing lane. Huge air. Almost getting the truck in trouble. I thought he may end up landing at the back of the backflip jump. Was able to just kind of get himself away from that. Wraps the truck around. Going for the big BMX hill. Huge air once again. Not able to beat out what Hank did in Avenger. But was getting really close. That's going to be really hard to beat. But still wraps it back around. Goes for the pot at the start of the racing lane. Nice little sky wheelie. Getting it into a wheelie. Oh, and I thought he was going to clip the end of the racing lane. He's getting all sorts of sideways. <laughs> he was teeter-tottering on those rear wheels. Thought he was going to get in trouble. Brings it down. And he's just keeping the truck going. As he gets more air off the dirt ramp at the end of the track. See, one thing that I do miss is the zoomies on these trucks. Just look at the smoke billowing out of those zoomies as he gets the air. Keeping up the truck, going from hit to hit to hit. No real waste of motion so far in this run. As he gets a nice little sky wheel, he lands on the rear, gets the truck under control. Looks like he's going to be going for the jammer right here in front of the stage. Going for a huge sky wheelie. That was massive. Probably the biggest off that jammer so far. Hits the dirt ramp at the end of the track a little bit differently than what the other drivers have done. Almost like a cross thread, but technically that's the way you're supposed to hit it. Now it looks like he's lining up for the pod. Slows it down. Brings the front end down. Oh, it gets a great sky wheel. It's going to come down hard on the rear. Is he going to save it? He's on the left side. And he saves it. What a save from Doc and the legend. Brings it down. Nothing broke. Keep it going. Running on 15 seconds right now. Not sure what he's going to do right now. A little bit slow right there. Goes for the jammer. Nice sky wheelie. Looks like he might hit the pod. He's trying to get to the backflip jump right now, I think. But he's got five seconds left. Three, two. I think he might get it. Or he's going for a corkscrew. He's going to come up short. And it looks like they're going to shut the truck off. Breaks the left front steering. But what a run. What an attempt. Had to try and go for something different. But getting great air off this BMX hill. Sending the truck. Big rebound on the truck. But was able to get it settled out and keep the truck going. Then huge air off the little dirt pod here at the end of the track. Ends up with a score of 7.86. Good score for Doc and the legend. Nothing to be ashamed of there. Great run from him. As we move on to our next competitor. Who's coming out. Which is going to be Twisted Addiction. Driven by Devin. Once again rocking those zoomies on the truck. Looks we'll like he's trying to find what he wants to do for his first hit. So he lines up and he's going to go for some huge, huge air. Hard landing cradle shot in the truck like that. Looks like he has a little bit more of a racing setup in that truck. The way the suspension is tuned. It's actually slapping the cradle on these hits. That's got to be rough on the truck. Hopefully that doesn't end up in like a four lane bar getting broke. But so far he's had three good hits to start off his run. He's just going kind of from hit to hit. Lines up for the BMX hill. Going for some huge air. Truck was able to land that softly. Kind of keeping the truck going. As he slings it around, drifts it wide. 
Going for the racing lane pod. Get some good air off of that. Gets it into a slap wheelie. Really. Settles the truck back down. See, so he's going for the racing lane. Going for another bicycle. Doesn't ride out as long as Justin, but a great move nonetheless to throw that in instead of just driving by and kind of wasting that hit. Was able to kind of work it into something as he goes for the technically the steeper side of the dirt ramp on this, the dirt pod. As he zooms back down the course, goes for the back side of the racing lane. Big air so far has hit almost everything out on the track. So he's missing a few cross threads, but so far has a great run going. I say I say that and it goes for a different cross than we see it on the night. Everyone else has been hitting the outside. He goes from the inside. Now goes for the pod with a big sky wheelie. Lands on the left rear. Doesn't break anything, luckily. Looks like he's going to go for a cross thread. Similar to Avenger. Gets in trouble and he's going to save it. He does. He brings it back down. Oh, but I think he broke the rear suspension. Looks like that truck may be damaged. Yeah, that rear end is shifting out and around. And that's going to be the end of the run. Looks like the truck actually reset. Not sure what happened there, but that's going to be the end of the run. Will not fill time. Looks like the truck may have been broke already before that. And I guess on that landing, it must have did something. But the truck resets. The run is done. But still had some really great hits throughout the run. Almost as high, if not higher, than Jedi got in Brutus. I mean, just absolutely skies it, but slaps that cradle on the ground. Had to have been a hard hit for the truck. And then right here, launches it off the BMX hill. And on landing, was able to soak that up a little bit better. But I think due to the ending, it's going to kind of result in a lower score of a 7.01. A little bit of a sour taste in his mouth because of that ending. But still, there's always next round to kind of do something different. Nothing to be wrong there. As we move on to our next freestyler, we got Freddy and Maximum Destruction. I love seeing this body. I hope Feld actually brings Maximum Destruction back for his anniversary instead of Max D. But hey, that's only a wish as he's lining up for his first hit as he sends it off the BMX hill with huge air. That may have even been bigger than the biggest that we've seen tonight. And this hits the pot at the end of the racing lane. Great way to start off the run. We got to always try and do something different. A lot of drivers have come out here trying to do as different variations as you can. I mean, this track is very, a little bit more on the barren side, a little bit more open. So you got to be really creative. Speaking of creativity, kind of cross threads the end ramps right there. Doesn't really go across both of them. Just kind of hits the one as he gets some huge air right there. Just a rebound off those shocks. So actually lifts the truck back up, almost putting him towards the wall. Looks like he's going for a cross thread, getting huge air. A massive leap from Maximum Destruction. I mean, Freddy is just going for it right now. He's just launching the truck, comboing it up, goes over the pod into a slap wheelie, settled the front of the truck down, and had the presence of mind to bring that back up. A little bit of a different move than what we've seen tonight. As once again, he goes for huge air off the BMX hill, gets it into a slap wheelie, carries it across the track, Almost getting himself into trouble, but is able to keep the truck going. As he wraps it around, goes for the dirt pod. Looks like he's going for a combo. And he does. He's going to own one tire. He's going from one tire to the other. Is he going to save it? No, he's over with 37 seconds left. Oh, man. Freddy. He had the run going. Just an unfortunate bounce on that landing. And just sends him over. But looking at these highlights, he was definitely gunning for first. I mean, was just sending the truck, doing some different cross threads. And right here, gets it on one wheel, power wheels it across, tried to combo. But right here, just couldn't save the truck. I think it actually may have broke the right rear there. But it ends up with his run with a 7.14. As next, we welcome Austin and Hurricane Force out onto the track. Looks like he's going to go for the jammer to start off his run. Love this Hurricane Forest body. Nice little teammate to Mike in storm damage as Austin starts his run off with a nice slap wheelie. Spitch almost unloading, just kind of wiggling back and forth, but he's going to keep it going. Carrying it all the way down the track here. He's going to rip it around here on the far end. Going for the little dirt pod here at this end. Getting some good air. So he's going to combo back into him, possibly another slap wheelie. Keeps the front end down, kind of thinks differently of it. Goes for the backside of the racing lane, gets a nice sky wheelie. 
So far has had some good hits to start off his run. Nice cross thread. Oh, and he's almost in trouble. Landing on the right side a little hard, but was able to not break anything. And now he just turns it around, goes for the dirt hill. Oh, and that may have just broke his right front steering. Not sure if it did or not. And now breaks the left front steering, goes for the backflip, brings the truck down. Not sure if that's what it's looking like on the screen, but there is a four leg bar broke. Looks like the truck is actually fine, but he's going to keep it going. Go to air off the pod. See, this is Beam MP, so what shows on there maybe a little bit differently than what he has on his screen. He's going to go for a two wheel move, gets it on two wheels. Oh, was able to bring it back, settles the truck down, thought he was over for a second. Going for huge air at the end. Lands hard on the left side. And it looks like that broke. I think they may have just shut him off. The truck is just way too damaged. Truck literally just fell apart there at the end of the run. 34 seconds left. But what a run for Austin and Hurricane Force nonetheless. Had some really great moves throughout the run. Running the Shave Firestones. One of the, I think that's the only truck running those here tonight. Just looks so clean on that truck. And right here, the move to end the, off his run. So he comes down hard on the left side right here. Brings the truck back, but just the truck falls apart on him. That's going to give him a 6.38. It's bad luck for Austin. But there's always next round. Always another round to bring it back in the championship. He's still pretty high in points, so shouldn't be hurting too bad going out of here at Bloomsburg. As we welcome Guard Blast out here in Gunslinger. Coming out cocked, locked, and ready to rock. Gonna try and do the Gunslinger Dame proud. Just soared out of the pit, soaring down the track. He's gonna rip it around. Looks like he's trying to figure out what he wants to do for his first run, or first hit. Lines up for the BMX hill. Hits it at a little bit of an angle. Looks like he's trying to combo it up for the pod. Gets him into a little bit of a slap to lead. Now going for a little bit of a cross thread over the pods. Good air. Great cross thread. And it looks like he's going to turn it around. Maybe going for the dirt pod. Going for a two-wheel move. The truck just kind of soaks it up and just settles the truck back down. Just rips it off into the racing lane. Gets it into a power wheelie right there. Flexing that forward power and that gunslinger. Whips it around. Getting a little sideways right there. Trying to combo it up. Looks like he thought differently of it on the jammer. Maybe going a little bit too fast for it. Good air off of that jump right there. Rips it around. Looks like he might be going for some donuts. Actually going into some cyclones right there. Got that rotation going. Oh, is he going to get in trouble right here? He's on two wheels. He's on the other side. Bring it back. Bring it back. Oh, no. Is he going to bring it back? <laughs> oh. oh, man. He almost had it. Just couldn't bring the truck back over. Had no front sway bars on that truck. Also running no front sway bars, just in case if y'all were curious on that. Almost brought it back, just the truck wasn't able to get the grip. Looking back at some of these highlights, great cross thread. And then presence of mind right here to just kind of throw it into some donuts. But that's not the score he's going to want to remember. That's a 5.51 for Gunslinger and Guard Blast. And then coming out onto the track now is Sonar and Son of a Digger, your current points leader. And looks like he's going to start off with a backflip. Is he going to get the moonwalk? He gets it into a moonwalk. Carries it back. What a way to start off the run. Super risky. But was able to have it pay off. And now just sends it off at the end of the racing lane into a power wheelie. What a way to start off the run. Going off the dirt pod here at the end. Getting almost in trouble. Kind of went up on two wheels right there. Brings the truck down. Goes off the BMX hill. Landing a little cockeyed on two wheels once again. Looks like he's going to go off the end of the racing lane here. So far, what a way to start off the run. But he's got to keep that momentum up. He's got to keep that energy. He's got to go from one move to the other. And he's doing that right now. As he launches off the little dirt mount. Almost getting himself in trouble right there at the end of the racing lane. Now going off the pod. Almost landing in the mud pit. Keeps the truck out of it. Rips it left. Going for a cross thread. 
over one, going for two. Nice little crosser, a little bit differently than what other drivers have approached on the night. Bobcat did something a little bit similar. He kind of threw his own little touch on it. Now going for some massive air. Getting high up into the sky. Got 40 seconds left. Goes for the jammer right here in front. Nice little sky wheelie. Trying to get it into a power wheelie, but just couldn't get it. Nice going to sling it into some donuts. Actually, only doing a few rotations there. Just kind of more so keeping the time going. Keeping the move going into a slap wheelie. And he's on one tire. Just trying to keep on the ragged edge. And it looks like he's turned the truck back around. Not sure if he's going to go for another backflip or not. Goes for a corkscrew. Lands it a little bit differently than what Abrupt and Northern Nightmare did. But kind of threw his own little twist on it. Has five seconds left. Goes for the backside of the racing lanes. Lands hard into a slap wheelie. He's on two. And brings the truck back down. That's the end of the run. Now he's just kind of going on for you fans. Whips it around. And he's going to end it right there. This is going to be really, really close to see who's going to walk out of here with a freestyle win. As that was the run by Sonar and Son of a Digger. We're going to take a look back at these highlights. At the start of the run, starts it off with a backflip to Moonwalk. And it's definitely hard to do. Was able to do it for his first move and just kind of build it off from there. Tried to keep the truck on the ragged edge the most that he could. And right here to kind of end out the run for his final move. Went for a corkscrew. So right here, his front end gets stuffed in. Brings the truck around. Still was able to land it, but that run's only going to give him an 8.04. And that will do it here at Bloomsburg, PA. What an amazing show as we look at one of the freestyle highlights of the night with Hank and Avenger getting the biggest air here. Insane racing, high flying action, carnage galore. And this is only round two of the Bean Monsters All Out Tour. So much more action, so much all out, full out, throttle out action coming in the following rounds. The Bean Monsters All Out Tour, hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one.